In search of a financial opportunity to pay off student loans, a young black American woman moves to South Korea to work. As the author, Bootsy W, recalls culture shock and fun adventures in a country far from home. She's also faced with anti-black racism and featureism, quickly learning that white supremacy is practiced not only by whites, but by those that are categorized as people of color. Based on her 10 years of living abroad, the book, Ego Igo, compares and contrasts Korea versus the United States on subjects such as code, communal living, racism, effective protests, global alliances, warrior class, music, political correctness, health, aging, money, and the coronavirus. This blunt memoir is uncomfortable, humorous, and educational. Help fight propaganda and mainstream agendas by picking up a copy of Ego Igo on Amazon.com. There was a story that the mainstream media decided to, you know, gloss over and think that we wasn't gonna actually talk about this story. Uh, oh, I've been really needed to get to this story, but I had a few others to cover prior to this one. So old Jim Crow Joe, his son, Hunter Biden, you remember, you know, when they talked about his laptop and he ended up being in a pawn shop and all oh, they, they were making a, a issue about that laptop, what's on that laptop, etc. Well, some, some text messages actually came out and everything that was in this particular laptop. And I will tell you this. Always understand the apple does not fall too far from the tree. And we will show that in this story. So let's go ahead and, and get there. Now we know Jim Crow Joe has always made a lot of racist statements. We don't need to go over his history of racism. And yet black folks went up there and strolled to the polls and, and soul poll and everything else that y'all was doing. But they said that, the messages that was between Hunter Biden and Chicago based lawyer, George Mazars, it said it was saved on Biden's abandoned laptop. And they said the following month, Biden used a racial slur, the N word in particular, uh, in a bizarre wide ranging conversation with this lawyer. And the report was picked up uh, by the daily mail and, and many others, Fox news and all the others. Let me tell you something. When I look at, and because I had some, and I would say genius, and I'm using this as a sarcasm when I say genius, when I was talking about a particular story, oh, why are you even reading that kind of publication? First and foremost, it's my job to read all publications because I need to make sure to know what any side is talking about, especially in relation to us here in America and us throughout the world. That's my job. Now I, I know some of you in the black community, if it's only Democrat, that's the only thing you're going to listen to. You're not going to listen to nothing else outside of that. But when you in news, you're going to have to look at everything. Okay. So let's look at this weird text messages that was going back and forth. So let, let's put this, these text messages up. So the, the blue is Hunter Biden here. It says, where do you find unconditional love then George, which is the attorney. Where do you? So the, the attorney responds, God loves unconditionally. Bo loves you unconditionally. Children are too young to understand what it means, but you will show them they are ideals of unconditional love that serve as proxies. I don't have many. You, and he says, God, right? He says, say, OMG, and he used the N-word. Now, this is Jim Crow Joe's son, okay? Using the N-word. Did you just uh, affectional character from the imagination of a collective frightened and my dead brother's unconditional love is what I should rely on. And my kids aren't children, George. So he responds, my parents love was conditioned, right? So then Hunter Biden, Jim Crow Joe's son tells another man that he talked to another man, his private part as of late has been unconditional. He responds. That's why we are searching. He responds for my private part. He said, and we will always be searching. Man, what kind of conversation is this? Here, Hunter Biden responds, it's big, well, whatever, George. 
uh, they always find it and I only love you because you're black. Um, that man isn't black at all. So what is he talking about here? So he responds, it's so annoying when you interject with frivolity. He said, true that, and he used the N word again, but I'm done my rants. He said, we will always be searching. He remembered that, saying that term again. And then as he said here, to be serious for one more minute, my true and beautiful friend, the search is over when you finally realize that the unconditional love you give is the end of the search. The love we give without, and I think it cuts off right there. I've never had a conversation with no man in my whole life about my private part, about sizes, about anything. If you having a conversation with another man about his private part, I'm going to look at you as very suspect. I'm going to wonder, are you a part of the LGBT community? Are you closeted? Listen, there's a whole community for that now. Okay. America has pride month, right? Most of the world talk about pride month. If you want to be part of Pride Month, you can do that. There's a whole community for you. You don't have to hide Hunter Biden and this other guy. It sounds like y'all got a, you know, bussy relationship. So you look at the next set of text messages. This the, the guy says the lawyer. There is zero coverage or pickup of the story. Zip. They spent a well, cuss word, a ton of resources on it too for a year. He said, "Wow, thank you, Michael Cohen." Now, in other words, you're referring to. Trump's lawyer, the one that would fix all his problems. That's why he, he called him Michael Cohen. He said, Oh, and you too. How much money do I owe you? Because in word, you better not be charging me Hennessy rates. Now this is Jim Crow Joe's son. Now, if, if this was Eric Trump or Donald Trump Jr. What do you think the response would be from CNN, MSNBC, you know, Roly Poly Martin, Joy Reid? What do you think the response would be? He says, that made me starve my coffee. He said, I just made that phrase up, by the way. He said, I should have, I should, I said, Nad, your lineage. Now, this is something that I, I I'm wondering if this guy is Italian. I, I looked at him and the reason why I said Italian he keeps referring to him as black and saying the N word to this guy. Now, Southern Italians are darker than, than all the other Italians. Very, they, they're definitely darker because the Moors had conquered, you know, Southern Italy at one point in time. And, and they're Italian people who are darker that have been called the N word in history. And even before the civil rights movement, when uh, they had a lot of inter-ethnic discrimination among of uh, the Mzungus, you know, Italians were told you can't come around here. You know what I'm saying? They were one of the groups, uh, 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 Polish, uh, you name Irish, all these different groups couldn't come around. Right. But after the civil rights movement, they get the honorary white card and now they, they join the, the rest of their brethren against us. How you see how it is. But anyway, so he says it's wasted on you. He said, apparently you do. He said, that's what I'm saying. N word. He sent some picture. And he says, why are you so tan? Interesting. Now, once again, this is Jim Crow Joe's son. And you see how wicked the media is wicked because why didn't you put out the story like you to put out if this was Trump's sons, I'm saying this cover Trump and his racism and his, if his kids being racist and cover Jim Crow Joe too. Let me tell you something. The problem with the media in America, it is too uh, politicized now way too politicized. It is propaganda meals for the Democrat and Republican party. That's exactly what it is. And they lie to you and say, Oh, we just, do we just reporting the news? The only media that you need to be listening to is the black media. That's it. Now they said that, uh, you know, when, when people was putting up, uh, the hashtag, it started trending saying racist hunter, uh, many questioned what the media response was going to be. Um, and they, they said that, oh, imagine, well, if Donald Trump's kids said this now, a lot of times when, when they were exposed things on, uh, Hunter Biden or Jim Crow Joe Twitter quickly, uh, gets rid of the trending on them. This is why the government wants Twitter, you know, and, and many others regulated. They want to hide underneath that we are private, uh, business so we can do what we want as a private business. 
See, I'm a firm believer of this. If you're operating as a business in the United States of America, then you need to abide by all the laws of the land. You, you don't have the special thing that, well, I'm a private business and so I can do this, I can do that. If you are making your private business accessible to the public and you're inviting the public to be on your private business and you gotten so big that you can, you are controlling conversation, then no, you can't just hide things like that. And if, understand every platform has certain rules, but rules aren't being broken when you're talking about a story because they were on Twitter, um, mostly Twitter. They were suspending in people's pages for hours for retweeting the story about Hunter Biden's laptop. I can care less about what's on his laptop. I'm talking about him in relation to us. And where did he get those words from? Well, when you got your father saying that I don't want my kids uh, integrated uh, with, with black kids, it's going to be a racial jungle. When your father talking like that, when your father said during that 1994 crime bill speech, I don't want them around my family you lock them up. You know, I don't care. I, I just need to stay away from me and my family. You know, when, when he say things like that, sound like an old Klansman with all his buddies ha has been segregationist and white supremacist. And all of a sudden he, he's so much better. The apple don't fall too far from the tree. And, and, and oh, you, 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 some of you black people, Y'all see me put this picture up over the weekend and now is a great time to do it. Please, Brother Sharif, put this picture up. That's that's a lot of y'all right there. The, the had had Biden's picture looking at him as your savior in your in the house. I I I when we posted that over the weekend, I said, man, the internet is brutal. But it's so much the truth. A lot of you wanted that in office, and now this is what this when, when, when are y'all going to learn? When are y'all going to learn? I mean, you got Trump out and you say you replace him with somebody that's so-called better. And actually the person that's so-called better immediately went to doing things against you. So when they got in there, everybody got something out the deal. Transgenders, the Asian community got literally a whole a bill to protect them and $50 million. The Native Americans got something out the deal, but but I didn't see all them groups lining up and, and, and going through what they're going through to vote for uh, Biden. None of them, but you ain't noticed. I noticed a lot of you are quiet. You're quiet. You're not saying anything. You're not saying a word. And some of you that are speaking up, you're rumbling. And some of you having major buyer's remorse. And this man haven't been in office not even a year. My God, I don't know what's going, what it's going to look like after four. But um, yeah, Hunter Biden and his N word. Now you think he stopped saying that word since, since back in that time period? You know that, that this this came out. Do you think he you think he really stopped this since 2018? You think he stopped? A person that know white supremacists very well, he ain't stopped. He been using that. For a long time. That's why it rolls. That's why he's typing it in his uh, text messages, right? But I guess so, right? Um, well, what y'all have to say about this? Those of you who voted for Biden. That's what I want to know in the comment section. You let me know what you think about this story. Since you you voted for Biden, you you shame people if, if they didn't vote for Biden. I'm talking about black folks only. What do you think about this? You Biden supporter. But leave me a comment. And let me know about that. I really want to know if, if you're not afraid to leave a comment. You know, we, the, the black public would definitely like to know. Welcome to Mary and Ghana, where kente cloths is what we do. Where African weddings and events are our specialty. Where African tradition, where it's perfected. Where beautiful culture resides. Where marrying is honorable. MGKente.com. Where competitors can't compete in quality or prices. Shop now. MGKente.com.
www.africanfamilyfinancialmarketingmentor.com. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the African Diaspora News Channel app in the Google Play and Apple App Store. Thank you.